Thank you guys all for coming. Uh, this is a total cluster, you know what, tonight. But it is, it's, it is supposed to be, I think. Uh, a few months ago, I, I hurt my hand, and or Helen and I will be playing for you tonight, but there's a bunch of songwriters here, and they're all going to give you a little sample of their music tonight. And then we're going to go open some presents, like I've been thinking about doing since y'all start putting them in. <laughs> and we're going to have birthday cake and sing happy birthday and let you blow out the so, candles if you're able to. So I'm going to get each, each, each one of the, the folks that's going to come up is going to do about three songs for y'all. And um, y'all welcome Ricky Jane Wright and Denise Owen. Yeah. yeah. We are actually the surviving members of Duck Creek Station. <laughs> this first song was actually a song that uh, all four members of uh, Duck Creek Station went out to uh, Taos, New Mexico and uh, did a little mini tour out there in the winter time. <laughs> driving in the mountains in the winter when we don't know nothing about driving in the mountains in the winter. <laughs> this song came forward. <laughs> it's called Going Back to Texas. <laughs> My guitar ringing in the mountains never made a sweeter sound. And her voice sounded like an angel echoing all around. And that look on her face when the snow started coming down cause she knew we were stranded there in that mountain town going back to Texas back where it all began going back to Texas was always in our plan But the snow kept falling And the mountain pass was closed Going back to Texas But the snow was saying no
That's right. It was one of those, uh, we went to play at a, a winery and they closed the, uh, a couple of years later they closed the, the tasting room. But I think they uh, felt so sorry for us because it was the winter time and they promised us so much money and they gave us more money than they promised. So, Yay. Uh, I like it when they feel sorry for us. Like yeah. That. <laughs> 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 yeah. Tell room, so we were glad about that. Yeah. So, uh, being a, a, a native Texan, and we both are, but I'm uh, very interested in history and all the things about uh, the ancient history of uh, of Texas. And I was born on the Galveston Bay, and so that was always a mysterious uh, historical place for me. And that's where I got the idea of this next song called Island Red, about a colorful character from. Galveston, Texas, uh, in the 1800s. She was a redhead German girl, abandoned by a rich businessman. On the streets of old Galveston She came over on an ocean liner No one ever looked any finer Who walked the streets of old Galveston They all said Island Red She always turned their heads But she called herself Island Red but They just called her beautiful That good looking woman Who walked the strand All the women said she She walked by She always lived at the finest hotels And as far as anyone could tell once ever ran out of money. She only did what she had to do to buy those fancy clothes and shoes to keep those tears from her eyes so blue. Said she was shameless. All the men said she was. 
Jesus' favor But everyone stopped to watch as she walked by all started talking about you know from a man's perspective it's better to go ahead and go with the plan and yeah if, if, if the wife so ha has the plan I, I think i missed that part of the conversation <laughs> yeah, totally he was too busy talking yeah <laughs> that's true well uh, as a songwriter you got to be really careful about what you say around a songwriter mm -hmm. because uh, someone right. just in passing one time said uh, Man, you know this. That person's so unlucky in love, and they just walk. They just walk in love's lonesome shoes. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> so I thought about that and wrote a song and came to our weekly uh, practice that we get together and practice stuff. And I sang this song for Denise, and she goes, hmm, that'll be my song that I'll sing. <laughs> you can't sing that anymore in public. So I'm going with the plan. <laughs> Don't decision. argue with the lady. We're not. We're not going to discuss that. And they're not even married. That's why we get along. Not just not us. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've heard it said we all have someone. True love is out there. So. As we wonder how will it all work out when the love you're in is not the one you love and your heart holds on after Walking 
like a stranger who's always passing through just like a prisoner who's falsely accused it's not a word Jeff and Julie Cater are just us, as they're just called. Us. So, good job. They're going to be coming up next. Good job. Good job. Very honored to have you guys here. It's an obstacle course. We're going to do it as Johnny Cash impersonation here. Yeah. Jeff. Hello. I'm, I'm going to be like one of those in the crowd. Excuse me, girls. I, I wanna... That one we're doing. Uh -huh. And the real sexy. All of our songs are sexy, baby. Yeah, this is really <laughs> <laughs> you know, Julie, you know what's sexy, what I'm talking about, right? We've already discussed it. Okay. <laughs> we have too many requests. They're going to be now that we got them. sexy all straightened up, here's two. Yeah. <laughs> something new and exciting, you know, I have them on chairs, on the floor, oh, yeah. oh in the bottom of the laundry. <laughs> so, uh, um, um, and actually, actually, have somebody else ask for that other one that we were talking about. So, okay. so, so you just tell me what we're doing and when. I can do that. I can't see this on the microphone. Yes, you can. What well, we're I doing and waiting. Oh, no, sure. <laughs> Heat it up for everybody, kids. Happy <laughs> <laughs> birthday, Randy. Happy birthday. And last Thank night you. we had the joy of being with some great friends of ours, Tom Prasad, Rayao, Julie Bong, oh, and yes. Darji. Yes, we wanted to go they, so far. Oh, good friends. And, and Tom produced our CD. Julie played keys on our CD. They all said, be sure and wish happy birthday. Oh, I know I love it. Yes. Happy birthday. Are we on the sound of the mics? I don't hear. Let's Don't worry about it. Okay. Happy birthday. 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 For those of you, for those of you that He's our wedding. He can still sing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it was his wedding. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> like it or not, right? For those of you that haven't uh, or have drank too much already tonight, 
No, my guitar is really that way. <laughs> lefty. Yeah. He's he's lefty. Right-handed guitar, upside down, backwards. He never learned how to play it right. And it Julie, awesome. often, <laughs> Julie often comes out. <laughs> Late. <laughs> This is becoming a real love fest, dude. <laughs> you know, we're from, we're from Oregon, and I gave it a little bit of a southern draw there, which I don't have. But I, can't, I can't tell you. We don't have a little difficulty here. here. Sorry, y'all. Jesus. It's completely Jesus. Time, time out. Uh, no, no, that's not going to work. I know. Woo. What did she do? Not, damn, I don't know, but there's butts everywhere, and I'm loving it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anybody got a cigarette? <laughs> 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 We're not going to have time to play our Let's go have some barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a cigarette. <laughs> so so I, get, I get cussed at a lot by my lovely bride. <laughs> That's she a is lie. lovely. It's I don't a, it's a lie. She never yells at me. No, why but I, <clears throat> I spent a lot of money on equipment, so for this next song, I went out <laughs> and bought her a special right. instrument just for this song. Actually, Brand new strings, first okay, time they've been played. Actually, this song, I see what he's going to play now. So, uh, this is a song that's about families. You know, with holidays coming up, and you start looking through your pictures, your black and white pictures and the albums. And the kids are going, who the heck is that? And what is that? And you realize it's you. <laughs> and they don't know. But more importantly, I just love this name. It's like you looking at you and going, well, who is that person? And why aren't I that person anymore? Because you're old. Yeah, but you know what? I still feel like I'm... Ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want like to be free. I want to be that fearless person okay. again. Our TV show's off. It's time to sing. Let's go. <laughs> then do it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Faded photographs. Sour faces that made me laugh. Ain't it great to wander back to how life used to be? Yeah. The plan. 
Which love song? <laughs> I can do this all night. <laughs> <laughs> promises, promises. Actually, this love song is, is a love song. You know, Jeff and I, yes, we are definitely married. He's mine. And that's a wonderful thing. Um, but, you know, uh, <laughs> we got together when we were... Older, ten. <laughs> no, no, you know, we'd both been married before, and we, we uh, you know, Twice. actually, we, we, yeah, he was a musician, and, uh, was? Yeah, yeah, well, you're still a musician, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That, but it was back in your rock and roll days, honey, that just doesn't count, you know, you were gone now, all the time. Rock and roll days, give me a second, Fabio moment. <laughs> Long hair. Long hair. Should have kept it. It's coming back. He's growing his hair back. He's growing his hair back. He's growing his hair back. Right. Skin tight leather pants. Oh. 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 There's a story there. I don't know. We don't have time for that, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell them individually. All right. Wants to hear All right. Later. Anybody that wants to hear the leather pants story when we're done. However, this particular song is the first song they ever wrote to me. And, and it's about being falling in love when you're in your 50s. And um, feeling like you're still 16 years old. But, Acting like rabbits. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> particularly um, realizing at some point in there that you're really... 50. <laughs> Six times a day. Oh, wow. give me a break. And that was a slow week. Oh. Yeah. 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 Don't, break. Don't give away all the trade secrets. Come on, play your song now. That's right. Come on, come on. I'm still pet. I know you are, but come on. Okay. It's so, okay. So, so sing the song. Right. Get it. So this, this is, this, this, she's becoming violent. <laughs> this is the first love song I wrote to Julie, following a rabbit song. <laughs> I guess for that love must survive so Take my hand Walk me through that promised land That's right, baby Ooh, you don't know I like that oh, yeah. Once we've started You know it never ends Oh, let's do it again <sighs> Again and 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 again Again and 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 again
again and again and again and again and again, 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 child. I know I want you one more time. Let's do it again and 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 again, child. up a cigarette after. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even smoke and I want a cigarette. <laughs> 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 so are you changing the tune? So we're not going to do Mama Told Me Deal again? I thought we were only doing three songs. I know. No, we're not going to do Mama Told Me <gasps> okay. okay. Well, then I need to move back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julie came home from work one day and I said, baby, I've written a new song. And I uh, <clears throat> don't want you to feel nervous or anything, but I want you to sing this like Ann Wilson. Uh, Our heart. Uh, and actually, this song is. Uh, Did Julie bend over like that when she said that before? Yeah. <laughs> she said what? <laughs> Quit <laughs> Can we come back and play this room again? Yeah, yeah. And you know the best thing about doing a, a set like this? You get to learn what everybody's really like. I am not the only pervert in the room. That's right. Well, you ready now? Uh, well, he tells you about the rock thing. You know, the song, the song is 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 a sad song. It's a, it's it's about um, uh, my father who had dementia, and and it is based around his lack of knowing whether that his wife of sixty years was with him in his latter years, and he was so angry with her. Um, and it's called Miss You.
Jeff and Julie, just us. Y'all are going to be here in the spring. In April. April, 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 April we're coming April, back. April, Crystal yeah. and Will? No. Who are y'all with? With the uh, uh, yeah, cloud. Uh, McLeod. Oh, McLeod. 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 Yeah. That's yes. right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. CJ and Randy, i got to tell you guys, uh, as they come up, I'm going to come up here with them for a minute. Um, when, uh, when we started in the music room, when we started in the music room, there were a group of people around that uh, kind of gave us the inspiration to do it. Y'all know most of them I'm talking about. One of them is... Robert Tucker? One of them is in the back back there is Whit Hyde. When we, uh, when we start doing it. He can't hear me because he's in the living room right now. No, ask Wit to come in for a second. We, uh, we, had, a, we had a gathering that happened one night up at uh, Coffee House. And a group of us met. And then we started meeting there regularly and singing. And then we met other people along the way in the very near future. And... No crying on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Randy. <laughs> Take your time. Randy, I don't know where he's at. I... That's okay. He'll be here. He's out. He's here. He's with. Uh, he's sneaky that way. Yeah, come he, in. he was with Gene. <laughs> uh, CJ and Randy came into our life very shortly after we, the, the core of people that I, I'm talking about. I'm talking about Ian Dixon. Uh, Craig St. Clair, Paul Johnson, Whit Hyde, Paul Hyde, Zander, Paul Martin Zander, and a handful of us, and uh, it was a magical thing that night. And sometimes you never know what's going to happen dramatically because of the song. Um, I can't play like I want to tonight. I'd love to play for y'all. In fact, I'm going to try to work, it, work up at least one song at the end of this. But I'm going to leave this thought that I just left you with with CJ. 
and I think she can take it. Well, I want to say real quick, the first time that we met Randy and Helen was what they call a fall, fall down, down party. party. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what a fall down party is, but nobody leaves without falling down from all the alcohol. alcohol. That's true, okay? So, um, we were the only ones that's not drinking. Yes. Well, yes. And, and, and we came upstairs and we played music for the rest of the night. Now, now, keep in mind, the fall down party was in Arlington, Arlington. and they followed us back Not over me. here after we met them at that party. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we're at 2 o'clock in the morning by this time. Yeah. Right. So the reason why I'm saying that, I think that the 70th birthday is a different type of fall down. I'm coming out of the back, I'm coming out of my little cubby back there one night, and I don't know how, but a cord got wrapped around my foot and down I went. I mean, we're right in the middle of a show, right? Yeah. We're recording a show and I hit a piece of plastic and it just shattered. It sounded like a bomb went out. It did. And it cut my, cut my knee up good and uh, uh, just the, this whole thing, the way it happened. So yeah, I don't know what you mean about the fall down, but I want to tell you all something else. This room and everything that's happened here would not have happened if it wasn't for these two. Yep. <laughs> give all credit to the Creator, okay? And, and to uh, the Treadway family. And the Treadway family, who allowed it and was obedient for it to occur. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And um, one of the things is, is that not only did they get transformed, but so did CJ and I. From, from like Randy was saying from this one song that <coughs> CJ's going to tell you guys about. Now I know there's a lot of speaking going on here, but that's what music is about. It's not just about performing, it's understanding the, the purposes and the reasons of what is going to happen after the song is done, you know? Yeah. So, go ahead. Wow, or so is this where we're beginning? I don't know, go okay, ahead. Okay, it works for me. Um, so I guess it's me that's supposed to make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, thank you, Father, in heaven for this night, for every brother and sister that's in this house in this moment, for all of your children everywhere. We just praise you, Father, for like uh, our sister earlier was saying, how important the number seven is, a perfect and complete cycle. And Randy has lived that out 10 divinely ordered times. That's holy and that's amazing and, and powerful. So um, I thought I believed in Jesus. I mean, I knew I did when I was a little kid, but you know, then you go through your teenage years and your your 20s and your 30s and your 40s and in my case even up to 50 you know and I'm still just a, a party girl and um, so we come to this insomnia coffee house event invited at the night of the fall down party because we all realized we had something in common far greater than than alcohol, you know, and God was doing a work. We didn't quite know to give him credit yet, or I didn't. So, uh, Randy and Helen invited us to come and participate with them. It was November the 5th, 2005. Um, Waxahachie, Texas. And I thought I was going to go in that place and feed them some hay. I thought I had all of these massively intellectual things that I was going to lay out on the table of time and everybody would leave there transformed in some magical way. Never realizing that on that night it was me that God had an intent to transform. And it's because our brother... Randy Treadway was faithful to God because Randy said that, well there's so many things Randy said 
One of the things he shared probably with everyone that knows is that his mother always told him if you ride with the devil, he's going to want to try, things like that. But Randy said one day the Lord spoke to him and said, I've let you write a lot of songs for yourself, you know, write one for me. So Randy Lee Treadway picked up the, the Bible and he sat down at a piano bench and just began to figure out where he was heading. This song, sung in November of 2005, which is 14 years ago, <coughs> transformed our lives and the lives of our children, the lives of our seven grandchildren, like we sang it in the Galilee. <laughs> we sang it on the Galilee. We've met five times with the Sanhedrin, and it all started with one mighty God who chose one faithful son to bring what people might consider a religious song into a very secular setting. It's not religious at all. It was his relationship. We are standing on holy ground. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Somebody's holding their nose back there. Um, oh, <laughs> I was like, well, that was cold, sister, but okay. <laughs> Was going to feed everyone some hay. I'm the one that took home an entire loaf of bread. Did you drink down with living water? Guys, and I were sailing out on old Galilee. Was catching some shut eye, and Andrew was talking to me. You have to use your imagination right now because Harold Hudson is amongst us. And the first time I believe I ever sang this song in this house, Harold was playing saxophone, and I still see I still see him here in my mind. So at that moment of the song, I had said, Sh show them what it looked like, Harold. And he began to play. Priceless. You mind if I start out? This is I talked. <laughs> some shut eye and true was talking to me and all of a sudden it happened a storm came from out of the night 
The wind and waves tossing us about ya We were fearing for our lives And just when we thought it was hopeless Yeshua to the rescue again That's Jesus, by the way Ooh. He made it calm in the bat of an eye yeah. The weather, it listened to him Were you? Should have seen him walking, hey, yeah. You should have seen him walking across the water. You should have seen him walking, hey, yeah. You should have seen him walking across the water for me. Oh, yeah. I still feel it and remember it. Ask him, Lord. Can I do that? He just said, come my friend. Water, it seemed so solid as I was focused on him. And I was doing all right for a while, but then I glanced around. Seeing that storm once again, well, it started sinking on down and the peril of the moment it went away with the reach of his hand he picked me up put me back in this boat here back with treadway and friends <laughs> you should have seen him walking hey yeah you should have seen him walking across the water you should have seen him walking oh yeah should have seen him walking across the water Hey, Abba, hey, Abba, hey. Now, you know, we've been to a lot of these showcases, and I know what it's like where you're sitting right now. Everyone secretly wants to come up here. <laughs> so what we do with this song is we invite everyone to pull out your favorite air instrument and we need some serious leads so I don't want you to be shy so you know if you play air guitar we want you to crank it out somebody can do that come on there's somebody out there how about the keyboard oh yeah you gotta make the sounds up. we need a saxophone and a trumpet we need a kazoo. You have a kazoo, a song <laughs> kazoo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, y'all. Remember, okay? Catch the beat. You ready? Come on, let me show you. There's room for everyone. One, two, three, go. instruments back into your holster and we're gonna carry on <laughs> I gotta throw filth into the room well, yeah. well, I gotta say we've been to that promised land many times yeah. <laughs> there is in one the holy land. god right. one holy god who gave you that holy matrimony kind of inspiration that's right never meant to go old Oh, 
show you truth, and he will. It may not be the first time, it may take a year and a half like it did. Amen. extended our time I up know. here. You know, we have a tendency of doing those kind of things. I have a difficult time <laughs> being funny and, and <coughs> holy simultaneously. I got lost. Yeah, do you still Thank do you. it was her smile or a free Well Yes and no. <laughs> yes. And and the and the reason why is because some of the places that we go to play it's more not secular and and so we work on more, mostly the, the the spiritual type songs that we have been given uh, and it's about our journey in most cases uh, that even though the smile is because like that was totally your it, journey it was, well, <laughs> I, I, I the first time I saw CJ was when I was in the ninth grade and she was in the eighth grade Aww. And I said I was going to marry her <laughs> I did not pockets. see her again until I was in the 11th grade and she was in the 10th grade. And we happened to be in the same class. Geometry. Which neither one of us knew anything about. <laughs> but to say the least, it's funny how you have to listen when we were in the 12th grade with our annuals, we were writing in the annual, we can't wait till we show our grandkids that we've written this in our annuals. Skipped right across the whole element of children. Children and yeah. grandchildren. <laughs> so the great thing is, is that we've been married. We just celebrated 47 years. Just <laughs> 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 and, and, and so we've been able to do some things that's unbelievable because it started here with the music room, and uh, it's an incredible how the music has just been a pathway to people's doors, to people's hearts. To set in Jerusalem is like no other thing to do is to be able to play that song on the, on, Galilee. On the Galilee. The rain came while we were there singing that song. A storm came up, and it was just awesome. And, and Reno was Reno with us. Was with you. Yeah. Reno, Reno, we took Reno. And he was and singing <laughs> with us. The three of us yeah. were singing together. It was so, so amazing. So it was pre annoying. I got the video. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we had more fun. It took but, three um, days to wipe the smiles off of our faces. <laughs> um, there, it, if we could do one more song. I'm a, what are you doing? Okay, well. <laughs> it's we do name that tune. He just starts playing well, something. If I don't know, I just make up words as we go. So. <laughs> so we do that. It's there is a word one song. thing. Okay. It's a word song. You know, okay. Give me a word. Oh, oh okay. that's give me a fun. word. You want to do it? And it well, it depends on if we can get word. some cooperation. Six with times there. a day, Randy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> You all, the reason all right. I'm taking this down, it doesn't work, so never mind. Okay, you guys are going to be participants. Yeah. <laughs> so again, don't be shy. No, you can't turn that mic back to the speakers. Oh, sorry, y'all are left out. Well, you loud. just have to be loud. That'll be I'll right. do this. The mics will pick them up. We were out of the lake, we were camping. We still like to camp. So much that we live in an RV now. <laughs> it's really, somebody was talking tiny homes earlier, tiny houses. Well, we never knew when we were living on a 26 acre sprawling farm with a big log cabin that we would ever be living in a, a straight line on a pad with our next door neighbor about far away on either side. It's pretty cool and amazing and we feel like we have won the lottery. I tell you what, you talk about decreasing some stress. God told us sell, so we did. And it has been phenomenal. Gave away a ton of stuff to a young couple just getting started and all like that. It felt so good. Alright, I got a word. Oh, I love it. All right, here we go. The word is fish. 
fish. Fish. Tell me about fish. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is Jonah. Talking about a really big fish, and I hope that's okay. Now, I know you know the story of Jonah, right? He gets this message from God. God tells him to go to, to Nineveh. He's going to warn the people to turn your life around. Well, he really didn't want to because he wasn't very fond of the people in Nineveh. So he was like, eh, well, you know, fry, I don't care. So he just goes on. He's sailing out to sea. People, bad things happen. They realize it was Jonah's fault. So they threw him overboard. He gets swallowed up by this big fish. Well, I'm, you know, believing. And then he gets spewed out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, gross. <laughs> he's spewed out onto the shore, and he's like, "Okay, now I kind of have to, because here I am, and I, I see what happened to me the first time. At least I'm not dead. I will tell the story. You know, I'll share it. I'll share." It. So he goes, and he goes through Nineveh. He goes to the to the leader. And he tells the leader of this word from God, you guys are out of order. Turn your lives around and face me now and live the way I've called you to live. Well, the leader spreads the word and the whole place turns around. That's amazing, first off. They took it to heart. Well, good deal. About a hundred and maybe fifty years later, hundred and fifty, I believe, time passes. And guess what? It happened just like it happened here in the United States of America. People, it's a different generation, start sliding back down a hill. They don't remember the lessons of the past, don't even know how we got started. Well, God sends another prophet. The second prophet didn't bring such a kindly message. No more were they told to repent and turn around they were told to prepare for judgment it's kind of like the word i got for america i got another word oh wait that was a very lovely way to end it because i know people like fish and we wanted to fish fry we wanted to have all kind of fun with the word fish and i got heavy i'm really sorry i don't know like that it's just kind of high end right. sorry the word is bush uh, we'll what them. comes to your mind? <laughs> Bernie. Oh, <laughs> Bernie Bush. Kind of like the burning bush. Okay, what about oh, Bernie? Yeah. Uh, uh, the burning bush. I mean, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Burning bush. Bernie. Well, I, thought, I thought you would say George Bush. George uh, Bush. You know, it was during the time of the, the second George Bush when we first had this encounter with God, right straight away after meeting Treadway here. Well, there's that matter of the bush and the ram, lamb that got caught in the bush. Yeah, there was, you know, um, Abraham's going to take Isaac up the mountain. It's his long awaited, long beloved son. He finally has a flesh and blood son. The one of promise, not the one with the, the mistress kind of concubine woman, but the, his true, his real wife. And, and, and Abraham was like a hundred years old. Come on, guys. If Abraham can, you can. Six times a day. Six times a day. <laughs> All about incentive. So, and, and consider this. What's that? Well, you know, you know the rest of the story. Well, so Abraham, he takes the bundle of wood, he takes Isaac, they're going up the hill, they're going to make a sacrifice right where that Temple Mount sits today, on that rock. Mm. It will be ours again one day, and that's okay, we don't mind waiting, we're patient. Okay, so uh, Isaac, he's old enough to know the difference. And he's like, hey, Dad, where, where's the sacrifice? What are we going to sacrifice? And Abraham's like, don't worry about his son. we got it covered. God's got it covered. You know, he'll, he'll provide. He gets down to the point of binding Isaac, and he's laying up on the 
altar, preparing for the fire and being slain. Now, Isaac could have fought back, but he was a man of God just like his father. That's holy and that's wonderful. Okay. Now at this point, we take the three words. Well, wait, wait. There was a burning. There was there was a, a ram. A death man. Man. <laughs> he was crying and he was caught tangled. His, his hair tangled in the bush. And that became the sacrifice. And it oh. represented Jesus. What was the last thing they did to Jesus on the cross? Crown of thorns. What was the ram's hair caught in? Ram's hair was caught in the briars of the bush. It's like a symbol of things to come. Amazing. Anyway, it's holy. Now, now? I think you should finish this. Let's get it on. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> we have three words. And I'm hoping that somebody will be able to come up. Well, we were really hoping. I just with a storyline. What's your that third word? involved fish. Bush. Bush. Is there another one? Well, you said three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me think real hard here. Love. Birthday. Love. Love. God is love. When we're sitting in this room with you, it's filled with love that is true. remember hearing from Brother Treadway way back then Scott is love well that's the that's the bottom line and that's the reason that God gave everything for us withholding nothing he gave his very own life and son for you and I he gets rain water holy stuff for everyone he doesn't go oh you don't deserve it Oh, you don't deserve it. He serves everyone. And that's what he's asking us to do. Love freely. Whether people deserve it or not. Because they do deserve it. Your children are the most high God. Yeah. We love you guys. That was the strangest encounter I ever had. You've been new. They get some new song each day. You know, you add, we even practice I'm free. Thank you. Thank you. Well, y'all don't have to go to church tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> we already had that. We got that song. I need to. Uh, can we take maybe a 10 minute break? Yeah, I was going to say, let's do it. And then what, what I'm going to do, before we do, before we do, I want to let Jim come out and play y'all just a little bit. He's going to play okay. you a few songs. And then we're going to take a break and come back and get a few more folks for you. Yes. And, um, and we need to do your cake. Yeah, we're going to do, we'll do that in the break. Okay? Yeah. So I'm getting Jim. Uh, let me figure out where I am here. Jim will plug you in here. <coughs> He's going to play an electric guitar. He'll mm -hmm. be an electric guitar player. Go <laughs> up and Jim Hutton. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If you got, I, don't know, I don't know a better man of Christ than this guy. And I don't know a better technician on guitars or any kind of musical instrument. This guy is hands down the best. Yep. So he's yeah. going to come to Well, I want to thank you all uh, so much for the, the kind welcome. And I'm a little embarrassed to be here because I'm really not a singer-songwriter. I'm just a guitar player. You're and just a uh, hell of a guy. And do what you want. Guitar. Play your music. <laughs> Well, a little about me, I'm a, I'm just an old married guy. I've been married to my sweetie, <laughs> Teresa, for 27 years this year. I do about yeah. years. And I just love her to pieces. She's been a, she's been a life changer in my life and a, uh, put my life on a new trajectory. And it was so great to hear some people talk about the Lord here. Thank you for, for all that uh, testimony you sang. I too am thankful for the Lord. I'll tell you that I'm I'm 62 this year. I turned 62 a couple of months ago, and your and, uh, child. I, well, maybe <laughs> but, except to a 22 year old. <laughs> 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 and, uh, 
There's an awful lot of those. But uh, I played my first bar when I was 15, and uh, it didn't stop. You know, I, I've been playing for years and years, for 46 years this year, and uh, I consider myself blessed. I got to do it for a living in, in my 20s, in the early 80s. Uh, I was in a band. We had a bus, and we toured five states, and I've opened for some really big names and played with a lot of people that are, you know, well known. I'm I'm nobody, but gotten to mix it up with some really great players. And but it was it was only about 20 years ago that I came to know the Lord and in, in, in great uh, great you know part because of my wife. Uh, she was raised in church. I was taken to church some, but you know I didn't know the Lord. But my wife did, and, and after we were married, she started going to church, and for five years, she would try to get me to go, and I was like, nah, I'm good, thanks. I'll see you when you get back, and I didn't go. Wasn't interested in going, but thanks to my wife and my, my mother and both of my grandmothers, a bunch of women prayed me right into the church. Right <laughs> and I'm thankful for that, yeah, yeah, I'm thankful for that, and and uh but spent 20 years playing on you know almost 20 years on one praise team and uh we recently left that church and uh, not that we were mad at any anyone or anything like that but you know god is an interesting fella you know if, if you think you got him figured out or you think you really know something about god uh i'll tell you you don't i promise you don't we don't know god he's not in a little box we are uh, even if we think our box is pretty big, it's it's real small. Right. And uh, but Lord has continued to take Teresa and I on a journey, and and just in the last couple of years, you know, we started getting a new word from the Lord that kind of showed us that where we'd been for our whole lives, at least my Christian life, twenty years worth, and hers for her whole life was a place where I have to be real careful when I say this, but. I'm just, just going to be real honest with you here. The word in this country and around the world for many decades now has been twisted. Yes. And the enemy yeah, has yeah. twisted it to yes. make believers, people sitting in pews on Sunday, serving the Lord, not, not that they're sinning or doing wrong. But they've been made to believe that they have to do something in order to make it on to heaven. Yeah. And that's a lie. Amen. And it's a lie from the enemy. And we had been doing that for a long time, trying to, you know, please God. Listen, I couldn't please God with a please meter <laughs> you know, I think that's a please I couldn't. Yeah, <laughs> In Texas, it's a please meter You must be an angel. Couldn't find God with a God searchlight and, and all that good stuff. But anyway, you know, we, we've been on an interesting journey the last few months. We left a church we've been at for a long time that's been really weird and wonderful all at the same time. That uh, God's leading us down this new place where we've been, we've had this light turned on, this window opened where we realized that we were saved and everything was completed and everything was done the minute we asked the Lord into our lives. And I urge every one of you, anyone here that knows the Lord, if you don't realize there's nothing more you can do except serve Him, do what He says. If you, if you ask, you know, what do you want me to do, Lord, and He tells you something, just do it. It'll probably be way better than you imagine. But anyway, there's not anything you can do more to serve God or make, make, your, make your salvation any more firm than it is. It's, it's a done thing. Jesus paid for it the minute they nailed Him to that cross, the minute minute he was born he already knew what he was going to go do anyway there's my stump speech and it's just a little <laughs> bit of truth there and again i'm not a singer songwriter so i'm a little embarrassed to be in front of some of you that i've heard i'm like wow holy cow i'm just a guitar player and i'm a blues player i've been playing blues for the year or so maybe i'll do you a couple blues songs if yeah. that's what yeah, all right absolutely, absolutely. Jam. Little B.B. King tune. I think B.B. wrote this one. It's the first time I ever heard it. He did it. And I think he wrote this one. Every day, every day, every day I have a blue. Every day. 
day Every day I have a blue And you see me worry Won't it you I don't want to lose Well nobody loves me Nobody seems to care songwriter guy and I'm always in a band so I'm a little out of place here but you're awesome yes. but yes. thank you yes. nonetheless thank you uh, let me see here I can 
see the face Lord, I know it's not real Just an illusion Caused by how I used to feel Makes me so angry Though the flames still burn For a minute, I'm gonna go open some presents. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna come back hey, with We've got four more artists that are gonna play for y'all when we come back.